Life drain. Dandelion winds requires cloudberry. Um, it is a very, it is a mod pack made by the Breakfast Craft team, which is one of the Minecraft communities that I am a part of. Woo! It doesn't shoot them back very far, but they do take fall damage. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. And of course they're going to chase me, but yeah. Hello there, witch. All right. That's awesome. I'm very happy with these. Very happy. So the next thing I want to do, there's two things. One, make a world shaper sextant from Batania, which will require mana steel and sticks, the, the living wood sticks. And I think I might actually have all of that from loot that I've been getting. I have the mana steel. I think it needs four. And I have living wood. So I bet we can craft this without. Yep. All right. Without doing, we might need more wood. Yeah, I need one more stick. So we'll go down and we'll do one more stick and then we'll be able to do the world shaper sextant. And that will be helpful for, as I've told you, I like my circles. And it doesn't require mana in order to use, so all of that is good. <clears throat> so for those of you who haven't heard about this mod pack, like I said, it's made by the Breakfast Craft team, which is a group of modded Minecraft players that I've been a member of for like five or six years something like that and it's the person who made it had a couple of things in mind one to use mods that um, aren't in all of the common packs very often and anything that the community actually really really wanted so there's no thermal expansion there's no mechanism there's no ender IO those things are in there are in enough packs and are really really common instead there's pneumatic craft forestry um uh magnetic craft i think is the other one um there's applied energistics in here simply because everyone is that's what they wanted instead of uh refined storage um And then there's a bunch of magic mods, which I've listed numerous times before, so I won't go into too much of that, but there's, I consider Magitech mods also a part of the magic set. So we've got embers and Batania, but we also have roots and thomcraft and wizardry and uh, rustic, which isn't really a magic mod but it has a lot of potion brewing that you can do. So I consider that to be kind of something I want to get into. So yeah, the, the, the idea when they were putting it together was to have both a tech way and a magic way of doing the more common things in a mod pack. So there's a tech and a magic way to do automated mining and there's a tech and a mod pack, a tech and a magic way of doing mob farming and animal farming and, you know, Things of that sort. So, yeah. And I'm going the magic route. We're playing the magic route. Hi, Shadow King. Alright. Sextant. Craft. Yeah! You wish there was a darker version of the UI of this? Because there's the crafting table for it. 
<laughs> I actually kind of like it a lot. I like it. All right, so let's put that in here because now that we have it, I'm thrilled. I have a bunch of uh, astral sorcery stuff in here still from the last time that we were doing astral sorcery. Okay, so that's done. I can check that off of my I want that list. I would like to look into making a dank null. I know there are tiers of it. I've never actually made one. I just know that it's available. I've always used the dev null. Um, in earlier packs, the dank null is just like a reimagining of a dev null. So we're gonna learn what I need to do to make one of these, and I very likely am gonna have to just start with the low one. I think you can upgrade. Yeah, they're upgradable. I have no idea if it tr the items keep as you upgrade. So we're gonna start with the mark, the first one, mark one. Um, yeah. Well, the storage system that you're talking about, Shadow King, the Arcane Archives, actually will integrate quite nicely with Batania's Corporea system, which is sort of like Applied Energistics, but magically. Um, I'm able to integrate that with it very nicely. And, the, you know, the chests and drums or barrels and tanks, whatnot, they look cooler. They're prettier. I like them. So yeah, I can put a corporeal spark on top of this and it's a huger chest, larger chest, has a whole bunch more slots. As you can see, the, each of the slots holds 256 instead of the 64. Yeah, here's one that's full. The Lively has 256. So yeah. Um, you still don't get why you have a limit of blocks for the crystal gen. Oh, well, you don't really need that many, and I think in newer versions you only get one per player. So once you automate it, you're fine. No big deal. Mine's currently not running. I really like the... This is another one of the things you can integrate with um, Batania's Corporea. If you remember, if you're in JEI and you hit the hot key, if you have it in your Corporea network, you automatically get it. This will work the same way. I could do the hot key within the manifest and get it. Now this own, I think this only sees what I have in, um, in the Arcane Archive chest. So, but yeah, there we go. It says that's in that one over there. <laughs> There's a lot more coming to the mod, a lot more in the next version. They're doing a lot of things, so, yep. All right, how do we do this? Take care, Maxis. You wish I had a sorting system. I'm not quite sure what you mean by a sorting system. You can set these. Because um, in the brazier of hoarding we haven't made yet, but this is how you input items into the Arcane Archive um, system. So if you just throw stuff in the brazier of hoarding, it will put it into one of these radiant chests or into a trove or a tank or whatever it is you've got for Arcane Archives. They don't have to be connected in any way. They just have to be within range which I think is like a big range. And if you wanted to sort, what you could do is check this box. Cause right now it says, um, braziers of hoarding can insert any item into this chest. If you check it, it can only insert items that already exist in this chest. So you could say, I only want wood in here and have one of each wood type that you want to store. And that means when you throw stuff into your system, it will only put those things in it. So that's a sorting system of a, of a kind.
But I mean, sure. I mean, you, you're always going to want more than what a mod offers. Yeah, it's okay. It's cool. I like the lights. <laughs> I like them better than torches, which I could replace those, but yeah. All right, let's get back to this. We need to make five of the redstone panels. Yeah, the lights. These are lights. The sliver of light. They're torches. Magic torches. Okay. Five redstone panels requires coal, which that's going to be our stopping point. And does it need to be red stained glass? Coal. That's going to be our hard part. Maybe we'll need to go do some caving or go to our see if our quarry has enough coal because I don't have I've got like seriously I have 19 coal <laughs> I don't have the coal I have plenty of redstone uh, what are you cinnabar that needs to go in the other storage chest okay let's head over to our quarry see if there's um I really need to change this waypoint. Uh, see if there is any coal in the quarry right now. Any at all. Because it looks like we're going to need 32, uh, 36 each time we make a panel. 36 times 5 panels. Yeah. I wish it would take charcoal, but I don't think it does. We have 150 in here. Well, that would certainly get us somewhere. And I need to get this running again. We're not to the bottom yet. Yep. Um, do we have any in here? Oh, we do. One, two, three, four. All right. Charcoal is what I want to put in there. There we go. It's running again. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to guess, I'm going to try regular stained glass, but I don't know. All right, redstone, and I think I had some stained glass already made there. We'll try the regular. We need to make blocks. I don't think we're gonna have enough to make the whole devnal, but it'll be a start. Okay, so we need to make these. It does require red stained glass. Okay. Um, I don't have any beets in here, do I? All right. And I think if we crush this, we'll get more. Oh, that gives us the flowers. Sweet doesn't give us the. Okay. Uh huh. I need to grab glass, don't I? Oh, 
we're so close. We can make four out of the five. We're all, we're short on coal, as I mentioned. We probably would. And yeah, don't have enough coal. I need two more blocks. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Um, let's put you here. And we're going to have to get the resources we need. Where do I want to put this guy? Oh, look at that, I already had some. <clears throat> Great. Let's get some more slivers. I think I have crystals in here. Yep. <clears throat> that means we're gonna have to go caving, guys, for a little bit, collect some coal, try not to die, that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's sleep, and we'll go down and try to collect enough coal to do the stank null. It was one of the things I wanted to do today, is a little bit of caving. Um, I dug a hole. If you remember a previous stream, I kept encountering a whole bunch of mobs all clustered together over here. Which, of course, now there's baddies. Ow. Hey. Tempted to leave this hole. You broke the cherry tree. I certainly didn't take any damage. I'm making a bunch of holes. But I don't know if this was uh, close enough for it to matter. Anyway, this is our way down. Um, we'll do fire. And in here, there was a couple of directions that I didn't go, like down there. And we're just going to collect everything we see, but have a big old focus on nope, nope, nope. Yay. Focus on marble and Coal. Those are, are going to be our focus points. There's some marble. <laughs> Squid just died. That is tungsten. I don't think we'll ever use tungsten. There's the coal. There's more marble. Um, there's another skelly. Alright. More coal. Oh, there must be a way to the surface, so there's a deer down here. I don't think I'll have a need for that quartz. Oh wait, that's nether quartz. Yes, we'll have a need for that. 
Is that marble that I missed? It is, guys. Probably one piece, isn't it? Nope, there's a couple. Um, don't really have a lot of refuse blocks, do I? Come to think of it. Let's pick it up. How did you get down here? Is the surface over there? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. Also, well, not much to this cave, is there? Um. Tungsten. We're not going to collect the tungsten. I think that's for magnetic craft. And then I went this way. Is there anything over here? I think this just wraps around to the area that we were just in. Yeah, it does. So, that cave is a bust. Well. So, is that a cave system over here? Or is it just a little spot? Uh, it does not appear that it goes anywhere. But there are mobs. You hear them. Where are they coming from? Probably from there. My inventory is full. I hear a lot of bad things. Um, somewhere. Do you hear a lot of bad things? Where do you think they're coming from? Whoa, right there. Hello. Clearly, that's not it. Oh, there's another little bit right there. Doesn't look like that goes anywhere, though. That looks like a dead end. So where are they? Are they down, perhaps? Definitely, f there's another hole. Aha! I see you. Oh, 
Hello. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had magnet on this pick. Alright, so there's an opening in here. Oh! Woof. There's more way down that way, too. And over there. Alright, so I don't see any coal. Oops. Glad the uh, vein miner doesn't allow us to vein mine stone there for a moment. Alright. Seriously, I want coal. Copper or aluminum. Okay. Ooh, a crystal cave. Ah, oh, no way. Yes. You guys know what that is? Oh, and we're near a mine shaft. Oh boy. We're gonna spend a little bit of time here. Because I know I'm going to forget that it was here if I if I don't but check it out this if you don't know is an astral sorcery structure this stone is magical and what happens is when you mine it it becomes other stuff We're getting a decent amount of stuff that's Erebus marked. Yay! I do not know if... Whoops, I just broke it. Oh well. <laughs> there we go, done. It's, um... Random as to how long it will last. But the other valuable thing here is all of this marble. So, um, hmm. I hear spiders. I know we're near a mine, a mine shaft. So I'm hoping to not do that, of course. Not expose them. We should get rid of this water. Collect the marble. Whoops, we just broke our pick. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah. We'll have to make another one. That kind of stinks. But, um, yep. 
I don't really know if we need these things. I need the marble. Missed the magnet already that was on our living pick. Okay. And out here, and then we're good to go. Well, there's one more up there, isn't there? And there's that batch right there. Do, don't you have magnetized on one of your staves? Yep, I do. I am not going down there with all the spiders I hear. Nope. Okay, how much coal did we end up getting? We were short by how many blocks? Does anyone remember? I think it was two blocks. We got 20, so that would do it. We got 23. So that would do it. Um, I don't have any real need to do any further exploration at this point. bookmark this guy there's coal in here too but let's bookmark you and it's blue and orange and so what I've been doing is crystal cave and I've been writing blue orange I've been writing what crystals are in it because I'm gonna want them for building purposes, for decoration with diamonds and all sorts of greatness in here. So we'll definitely, when I have fortune, wanna come into all of the ones that I have bookmarked and clear them out. So this one is blue and orange. Great. Okay, let's go home. It's nighttime, let's sleep. Yay! And let's go see about finishing that tank null. It has the first one has nine slots, and I don't know how much each slot can hold. That's something I've never not looked up. But we'll also want to make a new living wood pickaxe and actually pay attention this time. <laughs> yeah. Let's get you guys. I don't really know what these are useful for. Alright. Um... A second one of these, don't I? Yep.
I think that's just about all of the stuff we got, isn't it? Decent run, since we weren't really expecting to do a whole lot. The cherries will probably go in there, and I have you. Alright, coal blocks. Okay, and then we had the other coal blocks here. And... We needed the red stained glass pane and some red stone. And was that it? One hundred twenty eight items. Awesome. And there we are. Nine slot dank null. So we will be able to put store a whole bunch of stuff in there and go up as we can. Each one of these, I think, requires coal blocks, and that's kind of where we're going to be encountering the, <laughs> the problem. All the coal that is required. All right. Um, we needed to do wood. We need... This. I'm trying to remember how we made the wildwood um, pickaxe. The living pickaxe requires oh a piece of gold and a wild root and then two. So I need to make a pickaxe out of wood. Piece of gold and the rest of this stuff. I suppose I could have gone out those stairs that I keep forgetting are there. Two of these and a wild root. I have the knife, right? Yep. All right, so we don't have enchants on it, so we need to put enchants back on it. See what we can get. And yeah, that'll be that'll be peachy. Guess we'll do efficiency. Oh, we got someone breaking with that. Sweet. Um, let's dump all you in there. Great. I think we're doing pretty good. We cross off dank null is something I wanted to get done. A caving trip. Uh, we did a little bit of caving. I don't really feel like doing a whole lot more. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what else Roots has to offer us. Um, it would be nice to get the next tier armor. As you can see, the Wildwood Helmet is two armor and one resistance, I think, is what those uh, images are. And the Sylvan is the next tier up, and that has, it bumps it just slightly to what these are. Oh, the name is six and one. Sylvan leggings are four. How is it the wildwood stuff is higher? Oh, because I bet the Sylvan is leather level. But there's iron in this. Oh, we don't have the amethyst. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm going to have to read. Let us read. Um, Sylvan armor. These robes take the freely gifted fey leather, something preferable to skin, and transformed into robes. 
Ah. So instead of just being like combat protective armor, this stuff decreases the cost of spells that we would be using up to 8% if we have all four pieces. I see. Good to know. I wonder if we have any amethysts at all. Do we? We have amethysts. Woohoo. So we could make the sylvan armor. It is lower in protection than our wild wood armor. But if we used our staves a lot, we'd be able to conserve some of the ingredients. So that's good to know. I want to do that unending bowl. Yes, unending bowl. This is an infinite water source. So, yeah, infinite water size hype. Oops. So we need to grab two Dugonia and a Terra Moss. We needed to do more Terra Moss. Um. That's going to require us to do that ritual. This one. We need Terra Moss to do the ritual. Good to know. But if we do this, we'll be able to grab some more Terra Moss. Okay, do we have the grass and sugar cane in here? There's the sugar cane and grass. And we have the bark, and I have some Terra Moss. Any two bark, and we have spores, which we'll be able to place and then use shears to pick up. So if we place you out near water, um. You guys remember where we did this? I still left it sitting up because I knew that we'd be probably needing it before I set it up at the new place. So if we did... Um, use on cobblestone adjacent to water. Oh. Haha! <laughs> Uh, we needed a knife, didn't we, for that? Um, okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so the... Oh, it's almost night and we don't have a bed over here. But the ritual is you, 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 right? Yep. And so if we did flint and steel, light it up, and it's going to just change all this cobblestone as long as the pyre burns. There's some. We'll collect some terra moss. Hopefully not die. Do I still have a bed up there, I wonder? Let's find out. Whoop. Thank you, Feather Falling. Yes. Yay! There's a bed up here. <laughs> okay. Alright. 
right, and it's still running. I don't know if there's a way to automate this. I'm not sure if we can use the auto user from Cyclic with the stone, with the knife in it or not. I don't know. Worth exploring at some point. I don't think there's any use for this other than the, ooh, the Sherford stone is something I want to make too. Yeah, there's rituals and things. By the way, this burns for a little while, like two or three minutes. So we'll be able to collect a bit of that. Woohoo! One. Very nice. Wow. We've got a decent amount of this now. I'm very happy. Alright. That's probably going to be all I really need right now. So that will just convert it and we'll be able to get it another time. Let's go home. And what else do we need for this never ending bowl? Oh, the Dugonias. They're down here. Pestle, which we can make, and a bucket of water. I wonder if we'll get the bucket back. I think I have some charcoal in here. Yep. And we have a crafting table tucked over here, so we can make the... Alright, I think I have everything. Let us find out. Never ending bowl. Yay! And we do get the bucket back. Okay, so where we want to put this? Don't think matters at the moment. We'll put it over here, right? Right there. There we go. Never ending bowl. Woot. You, I wonder... Okay. I don't have a wall. You in Batania area? Yeah, no kidding. Yes! Oh, think about it. <laughs> Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? 
I, I know I'd probably be better with runestone, but... Birdbath! <laughs> um, yeah, we could do chiseling bits and actually make a little a skinnier stand. But yeah. <laughs> cool. Alright, what else is in here that has piqued my interest? Yeah, the wild wood, obviously we'll have to grow some more. And the incense burner. Some of these things, you know, we don't have any use for at the moment. And may not need ever. We'll see. I do want to do all of the spells. All of these dusts are different spells. So I do want to do all of the spells. And I want to explore all of the rituals. Oh, yeah. That might not be the case today. Alright. I am probably going to call it for today. I've started getting a pretty bad headache that I thought would just go away with the drinking of the coffee. What happens if you place lava near the never ending bowl? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it for today. My head is starting to really thump. And I've got a lot of things I need to try to get done today. This is a working weekend for me, so I need to do some work. <laughs> I had wanted to get into wizardry, but my head is not letting me think. So yeah. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we'll be doing some more rustic waters. I have no idea what we're going to work on there. But I do hope you enjoyed. Take care for the rest of your Saturday. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.